a warm welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haas Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today I have a well-known whiskey on my cask. It's the Dalwini, 15 years of age, 43% ABV and priced at whiskey.com here in Central Europe at 41 euros and 99 cents. I tasted that whiskey in front of the camera, uh, alas, in German language, 13 years ago, 11 years ago and five years ago together with my son. And uh, yeah, I show you now some uh, drone footage, which we took ooh, six years ago, seven years ago. And uh, there you can see that Dalwini lies in a, a valley, in a broad valley on the sides of the higher mountains. And it's a pass where the motorway goes over the pass. And Dalwini is, if you translate it into uh, from Gaelic into English, it's like meeting place, trade post, something like that. And there you not only had the motorway from south to north or the other way around, but as well from east to west. And this was the place where they met. And this was the place for the production of whiskey because everybody wants to have that in those times and today. The Dalwini is part of the uh, Classic Malt of Scotland series, six whiskies from six different regions in Scotland and together with the common marketing. And this is, well, one reason why Dalwini is so prominent. They started with their series 1988 or 1989. And uh, from that time on, sales rose up a lot. And the price had been stable for more than 20 years at roughly 40 euros, dollars, pounds. But in the last few years, prices rose due to higher inflation. So now they, well, they went through that ceiling of the price range and now they are, uh, well, a little bit above that, but still very affordable for a 15 year old Highland single malt. Yeah, uh, the Dalwini is called the distillery, the highest dis located distilleries in Scotland uh, at an elevation of a oh, thousand foot, 300 something meters, but that's not right. I know of two distilleries in the Highlands in the uh, valley of the Livet, the Glen Livet in the upper valley which are higher, not much, 10, 20, 30 meters higher, but they are higher. So that the sentence on the card box from the highest distillery in Scotland is not right, but nobody cares. Yeah. Very, very fruity in the beginning. Yeah, intense. Oh, here we go. <sighs> yeah, very fruity, intense, and then a light spiciness appears. Heather. And it said there should be smokiness in it. Nope, I don't find that. Uh, spiciness is increasing. Sweet fruitiness. Caramel, a little bit of vanilla. So this is definitely a bourbon cask matured single malt whiskey. First fill, second fill, probably third fill. I have no idea. Third fill, not very likely after 30 years, those casks are on, uh, worn out. Yeah, complex and some age, 15 years of age. You're really able to smell that. Yeah, cheers. In the start, light, fruity, sweet, and then yep, turning into spiciness. And it's 15 years in oak cast, so there has to be spiciness. Fruitiness diminishes, no smokiness at all. Excellent long aftertaste. Not covered by a typical sherry or sherry casks, no, this is pure, clean, ex bourbon cask aftertaste. Very good. A light honey note is appearing like, yeah, some 
honey from the forest, probably. Yeah, and now there's a little bit of smokiness. Yeah. There is a chance um, casks are burned from the inside to give, a, give it a charcoal layer, which is an active filter and filters out all those faints you do not want in the final product. And where the charcoal layer uh, is adjacent to the unburned wood in this a small yeah, depth of the cask of the stave, there might be some fennels appearing due the, due, uh, during the burning process. Yeah, this might give a hint of, of smokiness. Not really, just a remembrance. No, not really. But the heather now is definitely stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, highly recommended. Um, one of the cheaper matured whiskies, which really carry an eight statement on it. If you today look at a Highland malt with 15, 18 years of age, prices are a lot higher. Could be easily twice the amount. Yeah. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. There's more to come.